I am going to test out the Dentec floss to see how well they work. But what you probably all want to know is how well do they clean? <laughs> I'm Rick Buck. I've been a dentist for 14 years. I like to cover all things oral health related, including dental product reviews. In this video, we will look at the efficacy of Dentec floss picks. Like always, I start off by staining all the plaque in my mouth pink, and then I brush my teeth for two minutes. And on this day, I happen to have used the Oral-B electric toothbrush before flossing, even though it's not my favorite brush. And that's so I can really put the floss to work to show you if it's effective or not. So let me start off by saying, you should watch my video about my favorite brushing technique and sequence and brand of brush and floss after this video to get the best clean of your teeth in my opinion. After I brush, this is the before shot. You can see some of the plaque spots and obvious buildup left behind. I am going to test out the Dentec floss to see how well they work. I always start on my back teeth. So right off the bat, this is the first downside to these flossers. They aren't easy to get between my teeth in the back. I'm sure it would get a lot easier if I used them a lot more, but as of right now, it's very difficult to get these flossers in my back teeth. Another interesting holdup I have with these is I'm trying to get the floss to wrap around my teeth. In my how to floss video, you will see that it's important to get the floss to kind of wrap around the teeth a little bit. This is another problem. You can't do that very well with the Dentec flossers. The floss will snap through your teeth and that's nice, but as you pull the floss somewhat around the circumference of the tooth, you are limited in how far you can do that and clean in some areas. The floss is so important in getting those areas because a lot of brushes actually won't get that area in the gum line around the circumference of the tooth. The Dentec flossers do get in between the front teeth really well. That is a nice feature and because of that, they make great for on the go floss for the purse or your wallet and maybe even for a couple other reasons. In some ways, they are more hygienic than regular floss, so you don't have to get saliva on your fingers in public. And you can make the argument that you aren't holding this big round floss, so they're a little bit more inconspicuous when you're flossing your teeth. So they make great floss to use out in public. The point on the opposite end of the pick is also nice for getting things out of your teeth. So if you're out at a restaurant, it's good for just kind of cleaning random things out of your teeth, especially if you tend to get a lot of food caught in your teeth. So once again, they are good as an on the go option, but I still prefer my favorite floss, which I cover in my uh, best daily brushing and flossing routine video that I will link at the end of this video. And I constantly refer to it, and I just basically think that floss is amazing. So I will link to that floss in the description below this video with an affiliate link. It helps you get $30 off if you want that floss. But for on the go, the Dentec flossers are really nice. Another thing about the Dentec flossers that I wasn't really liking was that the floss starts to loosen between the two prongs after you've used it a few times. And it wasn't as tight as it was at the very beginning. And that's important because it has to be tight to snap through the teeth. So with regular floss, you would just pull the floss tighter. Instead with these floss picks, you really rely on the prongs to hold them tight. So if they get loose, you have to push harder. Now, as the floss gets looser, as you can see, sometimes I had to press so hard that the floss really snaps through really hard and causes my gums to bleed. So I floss and have always flossed every day and I never really get bleeding gums. So I really shouldn't have this problem of bleeding gums. And it's obvious I'm having this problem because I'm just pressing way too hard once the floss gets loose. So I don't like that about these flossers either, but you do have the option of once the floss gets loose to switch to another one. But what you probably all want to know is how well do they clean? Well, the results were okay, but not great. You can see a lot of areas, especially toward the back where plaque is still built up. Floss should clean two areas. The first area cleans really well as all flossers do. And that's right between the teeth where the teeth kind of contact each other. And the Dentec flossers, once again, they do that great. And the reason why you want that spot to be clean is because it's the most common spot for cavities to form. And when I review floss, I always check those spots with another piece of floss. And those spots are all clear of plaque. But showing once again the results before I spot checked 
is the second and maybe more important area that you want your floss to clean. And the second area you want it to clean is below and around the gum line as far as it can go. And that is so you can prevent gum disease and some cavities which might form there. Which in my opinion, gum disease is the more serious long-term problem than cavities. Dentec floss picks just don't clean that area very well at all. In my opinion, these flossers are good to have in the car or purse, but they aren't the best for flossing. There are some of these brands that make floss picks that floss well for people that have braces and anything that gets between braces and teeth is great if that's what you prefer. Also, people with dexterity issues might get benefits from floss picks as opposed to regular floss because they can be a little bit hard to use if you are elderly or handicapped in some sort of way. But other than those exceptions, I would stick to regular floss and especially my favorite floss that I link to in the description with $30 off with my favorite toothbrush. Everybody should watch my video on my daily brushing and flossing routine. The results are stunning. So subscribe and watch that video now.